so what you code in Python and and, and you you no, say to me that you in a you university like to code I, in Rust. Like, yeah, yeah, I do some Rust. What, what, can you show me a Rust program that you coded recently? Yeah. Recently, or, or or my own project. Proud of or something. My own project is what I. Can you make the brightness up again? I have. Uh, Where do I see your? It's just thirty-one percent. Is that your battery? No, this. Uh, Where's your battery, monitor? This is the size. The battery is ninety-five percent. This is the volume. This is the size of the room. And you're recording, right? Yeah. It's doing really well. Why? You can't. It's my battery. Why is yours so complicated? You can't even see where. You should use this. Oh, 82, 82. <laughs> I can see 95. I need some bars to separate it because when I'm on Wi Fi, which I'm not usually, I, I print out the SSID and my ID and all the other stuff. <clears throat> so, show me a Rust program. Say this. Can you make the brightness? You use a very low brightness. You're going to go blind, man. What does it do? Okay, let's show me the. I can't. Can you make the font bigger? I'm trying to read your source code. Yeah, make it black. I don't like it white. Color scheme default. Okay, if I'm looking at this, I don't know what these dependencies do. Tab writer. Maybe you're doing something with CSV and to, and you're manipulating. CSV or something? Yeah, and then what it does is basically just create this, generate this. Ah, uh, so like a CLI version of your mm. of the booking mm. stuff you're working on. So, how would you describe the booking software that you work on? Is it working well, or is it is it like a mess? What do you mean booking software? Uh, you it's timetable. You, oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean you're doing timetable. I I call booking timetable. What I mean timetable. Does this timetable system work well, do you think? I mean, yeah, it works. It, do you, so think, far, it works do you think it could be packaged up and sold to other universities? Not really, yes. It's University super, specific, and then I even hard code my intake there. So, yeah, cannot use. I even put my intake here. And some, I, I removed some courses. Is that the, oh, the codes and things like yeah. this. I even remove the courses that I don't study. They somehow include everything, so I need to remove. Oh, this stuff. is your own timetable. But don't you work on the timetable system of the university? I thought that's what you were working also for the university, right? Timetable? No, I don't do the timetable system. What do you do at the university? You're talking lambdas and cloud. And you no know access to cloud watch. What is that? Those are the back ends. What is like, what, what? What do the backends they, they, do? They connect to Oracle servers. <laughs> what, 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 they correct to Oracle, what, what the old Oracle servers. I can imagine. I, I used to work with Oracle, and thankfully I don't anymore. Oracle 10G used to freaking crash on no, me all the time. No, Oracle 9. What? That's more than 10 years old now. I heard they say like 20 years old or what? Oh my god, okay. Yeah. I don't want to listen to it. It can't be worse than 10G. But what is the system you work on uh, for, for money? Like backends. I do the front end mobile system, the other. And the mobile system, oh, you do like a mobile app to show yeah, the, the, the timetable for other students. Right? Not just mo not just timetable, these are pretty much a lot of stuff. So it looks like your timetable is pretty busy. Oh, okay, you got three classes a day, right? Three classes yeah, a day, is that Three right? classes a day. Are there any girls in, in your computer science class? No. Class half, a few. Yeah. Like 10%, 20%? How many percent? Just make up a number. More than 10, more than 10%. Less than 20. Less than 20. No, 20, around 20%. Why do you think there's not so many more females in computer science? Why? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. You asked a question that I cannot answer. Should yeah. ask. But it's interesting. I thought there might be more females in in Asia, but obviously, it's, that number sounds like what it was when I studied computer science in in, in Finland. So, whatever. Uh, actually, the 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 weird thing about Finland was that there were usually more women in the first year, and because it's easier for women to get into the computer science department, then they switch to another faculty. Sadly, because there's like you know affirmative action. Is there affirmative action for races in your school? What do you mean? 
like if you're a Malay or something, you have more likely to be in the class than if you're Chinese? No. No? That depends on people. It's not depend on the races. Like if the guy I th- wants I to thought, go... I uh, thought schools operate, universities operate like affirmative action. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Esther, what is the... Don't, they, don't the universities have like r- racial quotas? Oh, yours is a private university. Yeah, it's private university. Okay, forget about what I said. Officially, no. Oh, uh, okay. No longer. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, so basically, are the are you going to be in crazy debt once you graduate, or is the is the money manageable? I mean, are you earning more money than you're spending on your fees? Yeah, and I can cover, at least can cover the cost. Yeah. At least can cover. How many <clears throat> other people would you say are, are like us, suck less, the Linux enthusiasts at your university? You mean, if you mean Arc Linux user, I think it doesn't matter. I mean, two. if you run Linux, maybe. There's two Arc Linux users, I think. That's not too bad. Two others, right? Yeah, two others. Um, and Some what about like Ubuntu users and stuff? Ubuntu. Debian if users. in the if in my department, almost everyone the for the staff assistance and R and D assistance, almost everyone use Linux. Cool. Just like ten percent use Windows. Do they no, use it? 20, do they use 20, it because they prefer Linux, or they use it because no, because my boss to. no, my boss when they come in, my boss tell them to like, oh okay, your first week here, come learn Linux. Okay. Then so, everyone use, but it's. So your boss is a Linux enthusiast? No, not really. He uses Mac, he uses Windows, he uses Linux, but he, he always uses Linux most of the time. I guess he's just trying to get people into... I mean, it's, let's be honest. Knowing, being familiar with Unix is an important skill. I mean... Get people you, to you, learn it. Yeah, if you're, if you're running Windows in a computer science class, I mean, that's sad in my opinion. No, because we are doing development, and then when I see like the windows, we just troubleshoot. It, it takes it takes days, but on the but the, the windows <coughs> does have merits. Like I remember uh, Visual Studio having like a great debugger. Like if I wanted to work out what was happening in a C program or C plus plus program, I think rebooting into Windows was like my only choice to work out what the hell was going on. No, no, I didn't get that. Have you ever used Visual Studio? It's amazing. I tried Visual Studio. I don't like Visual Studio. Okay. It's so slow. You start up, you need to take like two seconds, three seconds. So how do you debug? Like what? It's GDB. Can you, how, do you, how does the debugger work in Rust? Rust, same. You can use GDB. Show me. Can you, can you do a breakpoint? If you want, do that. Okay, let's say I want to break in the cache, break after cache exists 53. Remember when I run? Hmm. Oh, you're going to TU. How did you switch that back? Control XA. Was that T? It switches to TUI oh. mode or yeah. something. Yeah. And then. How do, you, I... how do you show, how do you print out the values and things like that? Yeah, I don't like doing this P thing. You can display. Th- and nice. you go. And then when oh. you go, you just keep printing out. Noise. Noise. Okay. Huh. Did you ever use the debugger with Golang or not? Delve or whatever. I rarely do Golang. I rarely do Golang. <laughs> I, I prefer Rust over Go. What? So what, what, why do you like Rust? I mean, I'm looking at the code. It looks pretty dense. Rust um, is cleaner. As compared it, to Go, you get a lot of if, if equals to new, error equals to new, I, I error like equals the, to I new. Like, I like the spacing because it makes you think about the errors. I don't like the spacing. You, how you waste do, time. How do you do error control here, for example? Don't tell me it's like horrible try-catch bullshit. No, you don't have try-catch. You explicit error handling. How? Let's say... If it's okay, you need to match the status. If it's okay, 
then so you, you have something. a switch statement every single this like switch but it's more powerful than switch and but then that looks not way modified. more verbose than an error I mean, you, you must er you must handle all the errors in Rust explicitly. Yeah, explicitly with the switch. But th but that's gonna be longer than a. No, we can do a fallback with like let's say I want to do a fallback with a result of type error. I just do a question mark. Let's say I do a question mark here. You can see this question mark. This is just jump out of the main and just return. Or you can do unwrap to explicitly handle the errors. Just halt if there's error. Or you can switch to expect. Is, yeah. there, is there any other people than yourself <coughs> writing Rust in Malaysia? Writing Rust. Yeah, there's another guy. Uh, he's currently doing exorcism most of the time. What's exorcism? The exorcism. Right. So right here, I can see. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, oh, he's, he's teaching people how to code or something? No, he's learning how to code Rust in here. Oh. So he's also the... He's also helping out in the Rust Meetup. Both of us org help to organize Rust Meetup every month. The next one is 7th of November. So every month, the first week of the first Wednesday, we will have a Rust Meetup. Cool. But you are you going to any Golang Meetups? Or you only went to that one because I was there? No, I, I go... I, I usually go to Golang Meetups as well. There's also a Rust... I'm a bit a Telegram about the of the Golang Meetups. How, why? How, how is it? Is it bad? Well, just, who's talking about it? Is anyone actually using it? Is no, it... most of the people in the Golang meetup do use Go. Really? I had the impression... Except the Rust meetup. They don't, they don't quite... They, maybe they've okay, seen maybe, Rust, maybe they don't, Rust, but they don't... Rust is a lot smaller. But I, I was a little bit... Uh, but we do... Last time we talked about... the During the last meetup, we talked about the food, butterfly, and worms. Like... What? Yeah, I talked about how matching with foods and how how does how to classify butterflies as food and the worms and I just talk a random stuff. In, in Rust. Yeah, it's like You must have lost everybody, man. You must have lost your audience right there. No, because it's just like last minute preparation and they don't want to listen to the tools, they just want to learn okay, Rust. So show, show me through this code. What happens if you're you're generating JSON or you are you passing JSON? Here. What what's a vector class? V E C Vector is like an array. It's a, it's a vector in a heap. Is this what you use to, to, for your JSON data structure or what, what? What's no? This one is just that where I send the request, and then when I match back the response, if it's okay, I'll oh, it's just like an HTTP request. Yeah, and then I I'll just generate, I just format, uh, filter out the classes for mine. If it's not modified, I'll just read from the cache instead. So the cache is uh, CBOR I'm using. What is the JSON? It's not JSON, the cache. What is what, what is the format of this of this thing? It's not JSON. What is it? No, it's like line-based or something. It's JSON, but then when when I'm reading from the cache, it's not JSON. The cache is not JSON, but the output is JSON. Oh, you, you sort so of you, you pickle like, the data or something. So basically it's like this. Is this is this the remote stuff or the local stuff? Remote stuff. What does the local stuff look like then? Local stuff looks like. Sorry. Oh, okay. You just pickle the data. Why don't you just write the? It's not pickle. It's it's CBOR. Whatever. Because I don't need to parse it. I just want to keep it small and running. Then well, I just. Well, you might as well use JSON because then you can add flexibility. You can edit it. I don't want to edit this. That's the reason I don't use JSON. Okay. Okay. I don't have this. Um, well, do you think, I was going to say that I think you're like the, probably the youngest suckless member or the other young. I think there's one more younger, but sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. The oh, rain, what's his name? Rain oh. one. Rain one? Mm. Do you know where he's from? No, I'm not sure. I don't yeah, he's not there. How do you know he's young? Because he's new. No, he's one year younger than me. I you, remember you, you chatted with him already. Yeah. Do you know you don't know where he's from? I don't know. But probably he's not here already. Maybe he's somewhere else. So out of curiosity, how did you even discover Sucklex yourself? You just were browsing on the internet? 
somehow I don't quite remember. Yeah, I remember browsing and then yeah, somehow. I guess you were looking for lightweight tools for your pie, right? Because yeah. you started with a damn pie. And then you join IRC. Okay, I, I find a lot of people don't seem to understand IRC and and get on it, if you know what I mean. I mean, how did you, did someone introduce you to IRC? You just read up about it. Yeah, and I joined myself. Just like, just join. Why not? Just join. Okay, that's good. You had the initiative. <laughs> IRC, I also joined like the Rust group. There, sometimes to help out people. Yeah, possible. it's good that you had the initiative. I guess it's, it's a lot easier than it, was maybe in my day because like my day like the internet really wasn't even working properly and so i guess i learned about most things through other people but it's nice that you can learn independently what is the most annoying thing about your computer what is it linux is it the hardware oh, battery life that's the most annoying thing to be honest my battery life 71 what is yours 95 percent yes Charlie. Are you on? Oh, you're connected. Okay, okay. But when that's off, it goes down quick, right? Three hours, yeah, two hours. Yeah, four hours, five hours. That's the most annoying thing, battery life. Yeah, but I prefer it to be like, get to don't 20. You, don't you find that, I guess you don't watch video, but when you watch video, don't you find, or does the machine overheat or anything like that? No, no. no. Just make sure you get to the... To be honest, this X220 is built, this one's built better than this one. It's ridiculous. But I think it's always overheating. It was? Yeah, you can try. But I thought you said it wasn't overheating. Oh my god, that's hot. Okay, I prefer mine.